Denny? Did you hire that PI yet? I ask you a question. Truth be told, my relationship with this firm hangs in the balance. Uh, Ernie, why don't we step into my office? I'm talking to Denny. All right, Ernie? Truth time. My office. This is not going to be easy for you to hear, but it needs to be said. I don't give a damn who slept with your wife. Neither do you, really. You don't love her. This is an ego thing. She's a trophy girl. Something for your friends to admire. Maybe you should be flattered. I'm not... I'm talking. Ego, Ernie. You acquire fast cars and young wives to try and stay young yourself in the hope of confusing youth with relevance. Well, here's a flash for you. We're all desperate to be relevant. You're 76 years old. You want to feel you still mean something? Move to Florida, punch a Chad. Screw up an election. Don't go looking for affirmation between the two artificial jugs of a woman who married you for, gee, could it be your outstanding sense of humor? Take a swing, if you want to, if it makes you feel better. I was thinking how right you are not to hire a private investigator. I thank you for your counsel. After all, it's possible that I might learn something that could upset me even further. I hadn't considered that. Did you consider that, Denny? Ernie, I don't have time to consider all the things I have to consider. Hmm. Who's it? Oh, please. See, the thing is, fool that I am, I went out and hired a PI on my own. And guess what I found out, Denny? I'm not sure, Ernie, but you need to know that I'm billing you for all these rhetorical questions. My own lawyer. My friend. With my wife. Gee, Danny Crane is silent. Talk to me about my quest for relevance, Denny. Tell me about my ego. Come up with one last profound thing to say before I pull this trigger. Come on, Denny, talk. I want to hear what the great Denny Crane has to say now. <laughs>